Nadu from Wolf Imaginings and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how I painted one of my very favourite paintings to date and this is an encaustic dolphin. I had a dream about painting a dolphin and so I painted a dolphin. This is called the Nairn Dolphin because where I live the dolphins come by every once in a while and they've become a mascot of the town. I'm very very happy with this painting. In fact, I painted it off camera particularly to make sure that I got it just how I wanted. It's a fantastic feeling when you paint something and it turns out just how you imagined it. But today I'm going to be doing a smaller dolphin and doing a time lapse to show you just how I painted it. I will be using the encaustic iron to paint the background and the stylus tool for the detail. So first off we've got our card and I'm just going to show you a small size comparison. Uh, this is the size of the actual painting and this is the size of the test card. Also I only need three colours for this painting and that is white, blue and grey. So I start by filling the card with blue wax, just doing random strokes over the whole card to fill it, and then I sweep the sky away. And now the rest of the painting will be painted with the stylus, which I take and dip into the wax block. It heats up very quickly, and now I'm just going to be outlining the shape of the dolphin first. Once I've painted the outline, I then go back in with the grey wax and just fill in the shape. Whilst I do this, I add small details like the mouth and eye. As I go, I add small sections of the dark blue wax and blend it carefully with the grey of the body. But mostly this first layer is just filling the shape with the grey wax. Next, I add the highlights with the white wax and this really starts to make it pop. The blending process in particular takes a very long time. When I was painting my A4 sized picture, it did take me a good deal of time. And as you can see, I am very carefully heating up the wax as I go with each individual section to make sure that the blend is very smooth. This also emulates the shiny wet surface of the dolphin skin. Finally, I add the waves, particularly around the dolphin's tail, where he's leaping out of the water, and lots of other waves slanting sideways behind him and particularly along the horizon. Again, this is just a matter of blending, lots of mixing the blue and the white to make sure they look wave-like. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more fun wax art. Thank you very much for watching. This is a baby dolphin.